Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. And tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors. They'll go up against the Memphis Grizzlies. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, and the starting group for the Grizzlies. The forwards for them, Bain and Jackson. Morant in the backcourt with Smart to his side. And it's Adams in at the center. And for Golden State, the championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Wiggins is out there with Looney. So Memphis will get the first possession. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Here's Thompson, and it's tonight. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Here's Thompson. Curry kicks it to Looney. Outside, Green. Down low. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bain. Remains Golden State basketball. Puts it up off the inbound. Curry with the bucket. Good strategy here from the coaching staff. Put the ball in Curry's hands and see what happens. He ends up being pretty good. To the inside. Stolen by Thompson. Bottom in a played so far here in the first. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Averaging less than nine points a game for his career, but Draymond Green does everything else on the basketball court. Brent, I know you admire that. Yeah, of course, the former defensive player of the year, a tremendous playmaker, but the biggest skill, Marcus Kevin, Marcus. is his mouth. He is a great communicator out there to keep this team connected. And here is Curry after Marcus Smart got his shot to go from deep. Here's Wiggins. Rebounded by Jackson. Memphis has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Smart passes to Bain. Wants to get it to Morant and does. And the basket is good. And the body control of Morant still able to guide that one home. Curry passes to Green. He dishes it to Wiggins. Back to Green. Shot clock at six. Wiggins outside. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Toughness there from Andrew Wiggins. Would like to see more baskets like that one from him. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. And a wide open look for Payne. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. That's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now, here's Thompson. Buries it down low. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Moran. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And the new CBA challenging the top spending teams, Brent. That certainly affects the Warriors, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, the roster is not getting any younger, but it's getting more expensive. So to sustain that kind of payroll, especially with the way the tax system is set up, it's something the Warriors are, are just going to have to deal with at some point and make some very critical decisions around what this roster is going to look like. Paul checked in for Thompson. Paul kicks to Wiggins. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Wiggins has got five points so far. And CP3 with that court awareness, it's legendary, exceptional at realizing when his guys are wide open. Here's Bain. 
Wiggins with some nice D. Okay. Better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Now, here's Bain. Following the miss by Draymond Green. I got him. Bain passes to Morant. Back to Bain. Let's go. And again, Memphis no good. The Warriors have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. They get it back. Outside for Curry. Wiggins against Smart. Scooped up. Green dishes to Wiggins. Back to Green. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Here's Curry. Well, it was only a matter of time that they finally get the button. It's not talked about a lot, but Steph is fast. So whether he's firing or passing, the defense is pretty much on their heels, especially in the screen and roll. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. You know, we talk so much, Brent, about Steph Curry shooting. What about his leadership skills and what that means to the team? Now, there's no doubt the team feeds off of Steph's positive joy and energy and his commitment to the game. He wills them to victory night in and night out. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Kamingas come in for Green. Gary Payton comes in for Wiggins. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Stephen Curry. Now, here's Payton. Pass to Paul. One oh five left in the first quarter of the game. Snatched up. Looney. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Looney in the right spot there. Good presence on the inside as he boxes the defense out and sends the ball right up. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the contest. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. Now here's Rose. Pass to Kennard. Looking to end the run. And Paul pulls it down. Warriors leading by five. Rose with the rebound. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Kennard finds Rose. Drives to the hoop. And he uses the glass on the lane. And this is who Rose is. This guy's a warrior, never backing down from an aggressive defense. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Warriors lead by three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side. some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. So on the floor to begin things for Memphis here in the second quarter. The lengthy post tandem for him, Jackson and Adams. Morant in the backcourt with Smart to his side. And it's Kennard in at the three, the small forward. And it's Wiggins missing. The Grizzlies trail by three. Out to the wing. Morant surveying the D. Left side, Jackson. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Yep, that one goes in there. Kennard's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Grizzlies. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Green breaking loose. Banked in off the glass. And the Warriors lead by three. And that's Curry showing some of that toughness. Not going to shy away from contact. The pass to Kennard. Over Wiggins. 
Here's Jackson. Plays it up Jackson off the glass. Jr. And passes like Jesus. that demonstrate Luke just Kennard. how much Kennard is a team-oriented player. The Warriors shooting at a 40% all in all for the game. Hey, Greg, gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy ship on their shoulder. They love to compete. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jaron Jackson Jr. is a prolific shot blocker, but blocks aren't his goal. He said, I'm playing the game to not foul, but make it as hard as I can. And if I block it, then cool. Avoiding those whistles is key. John Morant says of Jackson, his defensive presence is big time for us. We're a totally different team with him out there on the floor. Kevin? They are indeed. Hey, D.A., thank you. Smart on the wing. Here's Adams. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. The Warriors leading. Over in the corner, Kaminga. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Grizzlies have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Smart deciding where to go with it. Kick out to Adams. On the wing, Jackson. Kennard against Thompson. Kennard's shot is off. Warriors have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. Curry gets it to go inside. Those floaters, boy, they, they really demoralized the defense. Here's the thing. Steph Time knows it. I'm out called the Grizzlies. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Does it matter where you're from, Greg, your background? You gotta have game, right? Jeff, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA, others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, you know you've earned it. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Kaminga. Peyton comes in for Wiggins. And it's Paul in for Stephen Curry. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Warriors. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. We should also mention how hard they've been working on the offensive glass, just coming up with second-chance scoring opportunities. Those can be deflating. The Warriors making a switch here. Joseph's checked in. Payton for three. They get the rebound. Clark missed inside. Warriors leading by four. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Joseph down low. Cotton jar covering. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Yeah, the defender all over. The Grizzlies shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team from the line last year. And he sinks the second. Great for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. Uh, I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. And it's Green missing. The Grizzlies trail by three. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Paul. Rose can't hit. The Warriors have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. And Green with the basket on the assist by Peyton. Green. How about Tremont on the floater there? Rose surveying the D. Outside, Bain. A three-pointer, no good. Warriors leading by five. Ball outside. 
Golden State moving the ball around. To the right side. Here's Joseph. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First person this foul. is his first free throw of the game. And 79% from the line a season ago. Pretty consistent there as a free throw shooter. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Aldama's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. There's 39 seconds left in the second quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Rose. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Green slams it in. Green. Green making a good call that time in the open court. 23 seconds left to play here in the half. Peyton against Bain. It'll count. What a play! He simply drains it in at the buzzer. Score. And that three makes things just a little more interesting here as we head to halftime. They are not. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. Their biggest lead in the first, five points. Well, for the Warriors, Kenny, how'd you feel about it? And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Kevon Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. Good! Thompson makes it look so easy. That's the automatic Clay Thompson that we're used to. And you think about Clay Thompson's career, Brent, an incredibly resilient player. Look at all he's overcome. Now you think about those injury cards dealt out to Clay. Well, here's an ACL. Not only that, he gets the Achilles card. So he did it twice, and he continues to play at a high level. And the rejection by Jackson. Curry finds Looney. Now here's Wiggins. Lock at six. Curry way outside. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Here's Payne. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. The Grizzlies have made two and missed two at the line tonight. Shooting for Memphis. And the first one at the line is good. Two shots. And so he hits both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Passes it to Thompson. Looney kicks to Curry. Pass to Green. And here's Wiggins. Let's the three fly. Great D that time from Bain. Outside, smart. Feeds it to Adams. The Warriors pull it in. Off with the layup. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. 
Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says the way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, and I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. And the Warriors making a change here. Kaminga's checked in. Curry with the bounce pass. Wiggins against Bain. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got seven. I think there were some toughness questions around Andrew Wiggins. Not anymore. This guy has become a pretty gritty player. Here's Morant, and the shot goes in. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Warriors. It's a five-point game. Puts up a deep three. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. The Grizzlies have gone two of five, shoot here in the third quarter. It's Morant in the corner. Offline with his three. Warriors leading by five. Thompson right side. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets Jaren the call Jaren and will Jaren. shoot two. That's on Jaron Jackson. Clay Thompson, Jaren. really one of the more pretty jump shots in the NBA. I hope kids are watching. No wasted motion, incredible efficiency, and the mechanics really do set the gold standard. Chris Paul's checked in for the Warriors. Memphis also making some changes. Brandon Clark comes in for Adams, and it's Kennard in for Marcus Smart. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. You gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call. Peyton, he's checked in for the Warriors. Golden State's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Paul passes to Looney. Back to Paul. Here's Kaminga. to the right wing. Thompson inside the line. That's good on the jump shot. Thompson's got the lead up to nine now for the Warriors. Just love the flow and the mechanics of what Clay does so efficiently with that J. Now Morant. He has five. Let's it go from deep. The Warriors pull it in. Looney's got six rebounds here tonight. Morant against Paul. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 158 left in the third quarter of the game. Thompson outside. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists in the game. Paul against Morant. Pass to Kennard. To end the run, dishes it to Clark. Misses from close range. Warriors leading by 12. When you look at Chris Paul, uh, Brent, what sets him apart from other point guards? Well, he's just such a master of not only the mid-range, but delivering passes and, and making sure that big guys are accountable for the role player that they're having to guard on every pick and roll possession he plays in. The Grizzlies trail by 12. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Offensive rebound, and it's Clark slamming it down. In all of his athleticism on display there, Clark's work ethic makes him lethal on that offensive backboard. Morant against Paul to the middle. Here's Kuminga. It's Clark with the rebound. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. No, he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Here's Kennard, and it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number eight now on the night. 26 seconds left in the third, and there's the pass to Paul. Golden State moving it around. Here's Kaminga. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Clark into the lane. And Clark slams it in. 
looking nimble on the drive there. Once Clark sees an opening in the defense, he's looking to exploit. Clay Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Back to the action in just a minute. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. So the Grizzlies five right now. Morant in the backcourt with Smart to his side. Then it's John Conjol. And then there's Steven Adams. And it's Tillman in at the power forward. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip-in. Curry kicks to Wiggins. And there's the foul. It's on Steven Adams. Steven Adams. That's his first, first foul. Personal foul. First team foul. Now here's Green. He's covered closely. Shot clock at five. Here's Curry with the three. Curry so calm under duress. It almost always stamps for Curry at this point. Makes the three look so easy. Up top, Morant. Defended by Paul. This is it to Adams. Over Looney. Adams' shot is off. And it's Paul with the ball for the Warriors. Curry can't get it to go. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Morant passes to Concho. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Derrick Rose is checked in for Memphis. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. Now coach told his team we're up. Take care of the ball. Don't give them the game. Playing smart basketball will clinch a victory for us. Guys. Thank you, David. Now here's Green. Outside for Curry. Tipped away and out of bounds is Memphis gains possession. Memphis I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Rose against Wiggins. Over Wiggins. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Adams. This is like another case of Murphy's Law right now. And it's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. Santi Aldama's checked in for Memphis. Bain comes in for Rose. Wiggins passes to Looney. Outside, Green. To the paint. Wiggins outside. Pocket four. Curry is inside. Guarded by Smart. A shot by Curry. No good. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Warriors leading by nine. Here's Green. Gray D that time from Bain. His leads have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Dishes it to Smart. Back to Bain. They need this one. The Warriors pull it in. 
And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. The shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. You're smart. No good off the back of the rim. Golden State's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And it's Green missing. The Grizzlies trail by 11. Here's Payne. Tries again. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second-chance opportunities. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Stephen Curry. They swipe it. And here we go. Jackson has the open look. Good, and a nice assist from Moran. Moran's got three assists now in this one. And he's proven he can make this shot. Jackson, the D has to respect his range better than that. Timeout called the Warriors. They're up by six. 139 left to play in the final quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Clay Thompson. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken. Ball right side. Back to Thompson. On the wing, Wiggins. Over Bain. And that one's good. Wiggins. We've seen Wiggins and that jump shot really evolve over the years. He doesn't waste chances. He's efficient from there. And Morant's got the ball here for the Grizzlies. Have allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Inside. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Thompson against Smart. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Clay Thompson is tall for a guard, so you want to utilize any advantage you have. That time, height Clay came into play. Thompson gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. 59 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here's Morant. Over Paul. Off the mark with the little step back Johnny. Green kicks to Paul. To the paint. It's tipped. Smart with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Guys, let's just go ahead and call this one. It's over. Do you want to keep expending energy or do you want to start thinking about the next one? And he commits the intentional foul. John Morant. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Chris Paul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. One of the things through the years that you respect about Chris Paul is that competitive fire, that competitive edge he brings to every game. He really does care only about winning. Four seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Now here's Morant for three. Kept alive. There's Jackson with the three. Green with the block. I like the extension there from Draymond Green reaching out and timing that one. Here's Bain. Five on the clock. The shot misses. Wiggins with some nice deep. 
Here's Thompson. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they took All right, David, thank you. And we 